Good morning, everyone. You're welcome once again to our amazing Open Heavens devotional. And today is Thursday, March 11, and our topic for today is prayers for leaders. So that means we'll be praying for all our leaders in those spheres, our spiritual leaders, uh, our leaders in every capacity. And I pray that as we cry out to God this morning, God will hear us in Jesus' name. You also, you are a leader, so as you are praying, you are also praying for yourself. All right, our test will be taken from the book of 1 Timothy 2, verse 1 to 4. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. We will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So this is what God expects of us, that we should pray for all leaders. And our memory verse will be taken from Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it rule, the people mourn. So I'm so sure there are so many challenges. There are so many things uh, that, that makes our heart ache over some of our leaders. And that's why we will table everything before God in the place of prayer. And our first prayer point says, Father, thank you for all leaders in all spheres, whether it is education, health, technology, manufacturing, politics, or anywhere whatsoever, please give them wisdom and good counselors so that they can lead aright in Jesus' name. Can we pray that God should please grant wisdom unto all our leaders in all spheres? I will say thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name we pray. A second prayer point says, Father, Anything that may have been destroyed in any sphere of life, please give the leaders in all sectors the grace to rebuild in Jesus' name. Can we trust God for grace to rebuild for all our leaders in everywhere, any areas that we might have occurred damages that God will release grace unto all our leaders to be able to help us rebuild in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Next prayer point is, Father, please help our leaders to battle whatever challenges are injuring their good success in Jesus' name. Let's pray that God will remove every obstacle, whatsoever barrier it may be, that is injuring them from achieving success. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, I pray for all those who are leading me directly in church, in my office, in my neighborhood, in my family, everyone who is in a leadership position over me. Let them not lead me astray in the name of Jesus. Can we pray that as many that God has placed as authority over our lives, in our offices, in our churches, that God should please help them not to lead us astray in the name of Jesus. So let's prayer points. Lord, put your faith in the heart of all our leaders. Teach them to honor you and let them follow after peace diligently in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I hope you are all praying. The next one says, Lord, let righteousness be exalted at every leadership level in my nation, industry, church, and all over the world. That let righteousness rule in the name of Jesus. We've already heard that when righteousness is in authority, everyone rejoices. That Lord, let righteousness rule in the name of Jesus. And the next prayer point says, Father, take away selfishness from the heart of all our leaders. Give them compassion for the people they lead. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for a compassionate heart for all our leaders. The next prayer point says, Father, please expose all the wolves among our leaders. Father, for the sake of your people, expose evil doers among our leaders and remove them all in Jesus' name. The next prayer point says, Father, Give our leaders the grace to lead us into abundance in the name of Jesus. To lead us to our wealthy place in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. The next prayer point says, Father, arise and uproot every leader who has proposed in his heart to hurt your people. Father, don't spare them in the name of Jesus. And the, the next prayer point says, Father, please unite all our leaders. Take away division and confusion in the name of Jesus. We ask for oneness. We ask for peace. And if you have any prayer, personal prayer point for all our leaders, this is a good time for us to pray. And Thanksgiving said, Father, thank you for all your protection of our leaders and that your grace allowed them to lead 
If you love this uh, video you have been watching, kindly click on the like button and subscribe. Do have an amazing day. God bless you. Bye.